greeting everyone my name is Dr. Amin I began Dr. just after the 1988 uprising even though I am interested in painting Norway and Flynn rather being a doctor the beginning of the room is in 2000 I am running a clinic general clinics back to own clinic my wife is a psychiatrist assigned at the mental health hospital years ago it doesn't go well for her according to her the hospital is pretty much like the hospital from Anton Chekhov Wax 6 Amelius one flew over Kaku next she go into travel with the hospital authority she have to leave the job since then she work alongside me at the own clinic as a psychiatrist and people with mental health problems show up. This is how I was introduced to the mental health patient. In 2014, we started our mental health initiated with her, Dr. Satsang O, exiting leader. Her main focus is deinstitutionalization to prevent patients from being locked up for them to fit into society for the society to accept them so I was dragged into her project but my interest is in painting novel flame I thought how about I get them a studio and do what I want also? It was 2015. So we have the general clinics in France. We have the small studio, the room in the back. In the 2021, our mental health initiatives were recognized by WHO for good guidance, technical tool practice, mental health. My job is to turn the patient into addicts. It's like combining art, which I'm interested in with the mental health. My method is to have solidarity during the meeting, but paint individually. My aim is to strengthen their forecasting power while creating art. Also, to create solidarity. Myanmar currently face a brutal coup in addition to years of COVID crisis. Coup doesn't have a max effect on the room bed participant. Even though they could come to the room for the painting, we stay communicate online. They could come, collect medicine, explain their problem to me. During this time in Yango, things are starting to get bad with the people freaking out and body piling at the cemetery. COVID didn't take much tool on the room participant. The only inconvenience is they cannot be at the room with their community. Coop is a different matter. It hit them very hard, I think. 
they could come to the room again under the condition I can see they are agitation in their painting from all in killing, suffering, soldier, explosion. The killing and the suffering around them are giving everyone a hard time. One of the participants even claimed he started seeing black flying in his face whenever he hear the gunshot. We have to transform the room into the place where one cannot see from the outside. That participant can feel safe inside. We did it by stacking all the painting in front, blocking the entrance, front part of the room. During that time, we had two chunks to cooperate with and add the bricks to the damage from the UK. We learned a lot from him. The participant had a chance to meet him online along with the Tony. We had an exhibition at the local net gallery. During the project, name is Safe Room with the themes deinstitutionalization, opportunity admits the crisis and danger, no trauma, no act. The participants were thrilled about the exhibition. They had a chance. We are eager to interact with the buyer, the interviewer. We sold about 40 paintings. The project encouraged their belief that they can be artists. They can fit in with the people. Some were even over excited. None of the participants had major issues during this trying time. From our side, with the group or the funding or the sport coming to the room stop. But we could not shut down this room. We decide to rent the room with the fan from selling the painting. We had to cut some corks and reduce from canvas sex to rosebud paper. So at least we got kit painting. But it has a benefit because the cheaper papers. The participant can paint more than one painting in a single sitting. They are now able to create poster by writing down their thought on the rest of paper. It took them some time and join writing poster with their thought, but eventually they start to enjoy it. As for today, our Monday initiative is accommodating 15 to 20 people. To talk about inner life. When we paint, we do it in solidarity.
But we paint individuality without disturbing each other. It made focusing on painting easier. Have sicked long on at a painting table. The participant realized that painting do have with their mental head. They can always be episode where the mental head problem resurfaced, but they never turn into severe kicks, never been institutionalized, never been aggressive, never been loose control. They show up to the room themselves, get support and paint. They realize their mental health symptoms are gain awareness, they gain insight, and become more responsible for their time set. The community. The community recognizes is also. The participants start to gain a neighbor a respect. The community start to acknowledge their skill, their ability with more exhibition. They get to fit with the community. The community no longer see them as a threat, outcasts. Pardon. No longer believe they belong in asylum. No longer believe belong in asylum. Our Mandela Health Initiative is also planning to reach out to other communities, namely the visually impaired. This is a new collaboration project. Thank you.